there. Just want to show you some things. This is my new plant. Isn't it beautiful? I love it so much. Just look at it. Look at those leaves. Just look at it. So it is the Hoya Crimson Princess. I got it from a new shop here that's local called Traveler's Botanique. Pretty cool shop, but nobody there had on masks, so that wasn't cool at all. This plant is called... This is a pata plant. Pata plant. Pata plant shake. Pata plants do tricks. Uh, no, she's broke. This is a broken plant. Don't recommend. <laughs> and then yesterday, I got this beautiful syngonium. Look. And then I also got a calico. Uh, I just think these are so cute. This needs to be watered. Fresh. And then I also got, excuse me, she got boiker. I don't want a boiker. She loves her boiker. Also got this Hawarthia. Look how cute this is. Like, I just think that this is so precious. It doesn't even look real. It doesn't look like a plant. I just love it. Oh. And then I also got this cute little Peperomia. that variegated teardrop. So, I think it's probably seen better days, but it's okay. We're going to bring it back to life. And then I got this lemon lime jade. Also just super cute. And then this portulacaria, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, kaleidoscope. That's what it says on the label anyways. Super cute. But my favorite recent purchase is definitely this. Look at that. So cute. I love it. Look at that leaf. Oh my gosh. So precious. Okay, guys, so I ordered some um, test tubes off of Amazon um, because I have a little test tube stand, but I've broken some of them. So I ordered some new ones, but the stand I have, they need a lip in order for them to sit on it. So it didn't work because these didn't have a lip. See? No lip. So I was at Target yesterday and I found the perfect thing and it like just depending on the size of your test tube you could do this with any size test tube so this right here is a toothbrush holder from Target and look it's a perfect test tube holder so if you order some test tubes off of Amazon uh, any size, um, but then you don't know, like, you know, what to hold on, what you can use to hold them, or, uh, you don't want to, like, spend over 20 bucks on, like, a test tube holder, then you can go to Target, Walmart, um, TJ Maxx, whatever, and buy toothbrush holders to hold your test tubes. So, yeah, I'm super stoked about that. So, I had actually... Since I didn't have anything to hold them, I had originally like taken these little pots and then filled them with uh, shells and stones because uh, we collect those in my house. Um, so that's how, how I had originally had them set up. 
but I have these little test tube holders. Test tube holder. Ta Isn't that cute? Simple little DIY for an easy um, test tube or prop tube, whatever you want to call it. Um, these are my uh, variegated Hoya Hindu rope cuttings. Uh, cut some of them pretty short, but this one's a little wrinkly. it's gonna make it we'll see I think I have the start of some roots on a few that one needs a little bit more water in it um let me show you the one that I have with the most roots so these have only been in here for maybe two weeks um and so I had seen that Amanda from Plants Arena said that an opaque bottle is best for propagations because it uh simulates the environment of oh, simulates the environment um that a plant would actually be in growing uh you know because it would be underground um so most of mine are actually in clear bottles or glasses because that's just mostly what i have but i do have like some growlers and uh, dark colored beer bottles because my husband loves beer so yeah, here we go. This one has a root. Do you see that? This is so awkward. Look at that! I was so excited about it. I'm going to have a little plant, guys. So yeah, this is the first one. That has an actual root. I'm super stoked. So I put all of them in with pothos to help it root faster. And I, because I guess the pothos put off a rooting hormone, a natural rooting hormone that helps other cuttings root faster. Uh, that's something else I learned from Amanda from Plantarina and uh, seems to be working. She learned it from someone else. Someone commented and, and told her to do that and she did it. She said it worked, so now I've been doing it, and it seems to be working for me. Uh, so yeah, those are just a few little hacks for ya. I'm just sitting here admiring my uh, Hoya Crimson Princess now. It's so beautiful. There's so many plants that I see online, and I'm just like, I don't know. It looks like a pretty basic plant to me. Don't love it, don't hate it, but then I see them in person, and I fall in love. Um, just so Emma. Hey. Um, number one, we have 10 million things of oat milk. And number two, are you making anything for dinner? Can I make myself something? We're, we're having dinner. What? When? Okay. What is this? Be patient. Okay. What is it? You don't even know what's going to happen. Don't worry about what Mexican food. Oh! oh. Why does it make me dislike Mexican food? Anyways, I don't really have much more to say today. Just wanted to show you those few little hacks and my new plants. And that's really going to be all. So, yeah. Uh, like and subscribe do the thing don't do the thing i really don't care but i'll see you later bye